and I feel like I gotta stay on every freaking video where we're talking about a coin. I do hold a lot of it because I've got a lot of referrals mining it on their phone, okay? Uh, and by the way, if you do want to join my referral team, if you want to join and you want to mine some Pi tokens, maybe by the end of this you think it might be good, we'll have a link down below in the description for you guys. Um, I've been doing it for two years, and I don't... Why? I don't know. It was just easy. I installed it on my phone. I just click a button once a day. It doesn't, doesn't cost me anything. They want you to watch ads. I just close the app <laughs> as soon as the ads start. Um, so, uh, or at least I don't close the app, but I go to a different app so we don't have to watch the ads, but whatever. It, it, it costs me nothing. And that's the point. It's a very low effort and you're making coins. Started by a bunch of Stanford professors. Now, is it a coincidence that Sam's parents are Stanford professors and the, the, the week he gets bail, all of a sudden, you know, there may be trading a pie token. I don't know. Or pie coin. I don't know what you call it. It's PI. Pi network. If you look it up. Or just PI. It's purple. It's got a little yellow or orangish logo. That's how you know what it is. So here, here's this. It's a, it's a, it's an enclosed system, right? Right now. They do have a mainnet. You, you can have a wallet on the mainnet, but we're still waiting for, or I'm waiting for them to send my coins. In one, in a couple of years, okay, I've mined 1,000 pie coins. Now, I haven't been very consistent over the last year. The first year I was very consistent. So I might could have done more like 16, 17, 1800 in two years. It's one click a day on your phone and you can even set up notifications. I turned the notifications off. May have been a mistake. So it's, it's one of these, it's kind of like, uh, reminds me of Electronium back in the day, which I don't even know if it's still around. Um, but you could buy that token. It was tradable, right? Well, PyCoin Pi is not untradable. And that's been my biggest critique is I'm mining all these. And that's why I got more low effort over the years, but it's not worth anything because it's not being traded and there's no cap on the supply. So what it is, is they have, they want a hundred million users to KYC on the Pi network and create this ecosystem. Well, I mean, guys, people aren't going to be interested in a coin unless you, you trade it. Now, something very fascinating happened yesterday or over the last 48 hours. Huobi, a major exchange listed Pi token, but yet the team came out and said, that was not authorized. Well, you don't have to authorize them to list your coin, guys. I don't know if you know that. That's what decentralized exchange, you don't sign any papers. Bitcoin don't sign any papers. Um, so basically, the long and the short of it is, uh, Pi Network doesn't have a choice. If these exchanges, they can threaten legal action, but these are foreign exchanges. They don't have to. And now, you've got multiple others. You have XT, which might be a decentralized exchange. Uh, I think it's XT.com. Don't quote me on that. You also have BitMart, which not a major, major exchange, but I put it like a tier three, tier four kind of exchange. It is legit. I have done some business on BitMart before. And then there's a, two other exchanges or say they're listing it. Well, Pi Network says, well, that's weird because you can't even trade the token right now. So really what people are doing supposedly is they're kind of trading. Now, QOB suspended withdrawals and uh, deposits right now, right? But what these people are supposedly doing is kind of selling IOUs. As soon as it's available on the mainnet, and guys, all that has to happen is an exchange opens a wallet on Pi Network, KYCs opens a wallet, and they can then hold them for the for the trade liquidity. Um, I mean, I think that's my understanding of how an exchange works. I think I know. <sighs> well, what's happening here is they're saying it's unauthorized, and they're just trading kind of futures here is what's going on. Well, I'm not 100% sure about that. Does the team have some tokens that they moved over? Because it seems like from what I saw on the website and through going through all the steps to try to withdraw my tokens is that it, it seems like it's very close to mainnet. And you've got more exchanges talking about this. I think we're right on the cusp. Now, here's the important thing. I go look at CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. This thing went up to $400 a coin. That would have put my net worth at almost $300 million dollars. When I checked it yesterday, it was $208 million at that current price. Now, to be fair, on XT, XT.com, it was trading at like 20 bucks. I'll take it. I got like 700,000 of them. So, um, you know, that's a lot of money. Even my 100, my 1,000 tokens that I had on, on, uh, Huobi would have been worth, um, they would have been worth, uh, 234K, uh, just when it was at like 280 yesterday. So are these coins going to be this much? How, how many people are actually going to do KYC that have mined the coins? Is there actually a much smaller circulating supply after the KYC is all done?
than beforehand. Uh, not really sure, but here's, here's what I know about Pi Network at this point. We now have hope that all of those of us that have been mining it on our phones is just an app, Pi Network. Uh, once again, description down below if you want to join my referral team and, you know, whatever. It, it costs you nothing. It's zero dollars. You don't buy the coins. You literally just use some of your power on your, on your phone and you click. So, you know, obviously this isn't some kind of like shill trying to pump a price. It doesn't even really have a price that's tradable right now according to Pi Network. So just keep all that in mind if you do want to do that, it's down below. A lot of people that I had a big video back in 2020 that had like 150,000 views on it. That's where I picked up all my referrals. But we we have hope for the first time that this coin's actually going to be worth something. Now, what is it going to be? Is it going to be $20? Is it going to be $400? Probably not. Is it going to be, I don't know, $5, $1, whatever. If it's worth a dollar, I mean, I still make $700,000 from basically doing nothing. And so... Um, okay, maybe it's five cents. Five cents? Okay, well, not quite as exciting, but still make some money, you know? And here's the other thing. I think that when this does hit exchanges, this is probably going to be a top 50 coin. I think there's a lot of interest in it. People love the idea of mining these coins, and it's been going for a while, and a lot of people have been doing it. So and keep in mind, you do have to do KYC. That's very important. You do have to do KYC if you're going to do this. It's not an anonymous coin. That's the whole point. They want KYC. They want regulation. It's an American project. And I suspect that that's probably what all this drama is over. Is there an American coin, and they're trying not to be considered a security? And so I think... Some of these exchanges listed some tokens and they're trying to get it removed because they're worried about that stuff. So nothing you can really blame them on there if, if that's the truth. But it seems like things are finally happening after a few years on Pi Network. So I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna focus on Pi Network. This is not a top 10 coin for me, but I am gonna continue watching it now. And I'm gonna say like, okay, is there something here? If this is gonna be tradable and it's gonna have value, and this is an American company playing by all the rules, there might be something here. So I want to know, what do you guys think about Pi Network? Affiliate link down below if you guys want to check it out. Download the app and get going. Drop those comments down below. That's all I got. Go dogs. Got another video for you guys later tonight. Be blessed. Good boy out.